Hi, I'm Coach Natalie, and thank you so much for always coming to Love Advice TV to get some tips and tools on how to reconnect with your ex. I'm so happy to announce that Coach Alex is actually going to be staying in Miami for quite some time now. He's going to be doing a lot of U.S. coaching sessions. So now if you want a session, it's not just with Adrian and myself or with Steven. We also have our founder, Alex, here to stay, and we couldn't be more excited. Um, so this question that we're going to be chatting about in this video comes from another YouTube comment that I read just earlier today, and I wanted to ask Alex what his thoughts were about it. So does silence make your ex miss you. Alex, what are your thoughts on that and what would you tell the YouTube community? Yes, thank you so much for this introduction first. Um, I think silence is really important. That's why we talk about in France the radio silence, in the US the no contact. Because the less you contact your ex, the more he or she will miss you. This is something really important. So um, if you're watching this video, you need to understand that sometimes doing an action is not the right solution when you want to get back with the one that you love. We need time, we need to work on yourself. So it's not just silence, it's not just uh, no contact, it will be most of the time, uh, what are you doing this, during this radio silence? What are you doing? What are the actions? How did you rebuild yourself? That will make your ex miss you. For example, you are not talking to each other First, that will be strange for him because most of the time a man will think that you will text him and tell him that you love him, that you need him, that he's the one that you really love. So once we stop that, there is something strange in his mind. He will ask what is happening. So this is the first thing. But second, if he looks at your WhatsApp, Instagram, Facebook and see a new face, a new smile, something different then we can say he missed you. So it's not just the, the silence, it's also what action did you really do? And there is a kind of a strategy to do it in the best way. Absolutely, I couldn't agree more with Alex. And I think something that he mentioned that is really, really important is incorporating changes while you're silent. So the silence in itself is not strong enough to make him miss you. It's what you're doing with it. For instance, let's say you weren't improving yourself. Let's say you weren't evolving and you weren't changing and you were drunk with your friends every day but not reaching out to him. He's likely going to miss you less. He's going to think that you're not handling this correctly. He's going to think that you're not behaving in an attractive way. But like Alex said, you change your hairstyle, change your smile, do, so, do small modifications, showcase that you're emotionally stable and that you're excited and you're out there doing a lot of really cool stuff that's going to be what triggers him to miss you. Exactly. This is something really important because the goal is not just to stop the communication. This is too easy. If it was the only way to get back with an ex, that would be too easy. So you need to control your emotions. You need to act on yourself. And as Nat said, the more you do, the more he will see that he will miss you and something is different. So once we will talk to him, once we will see him, everything will change. I know it's hard for you to understand that because you are in a situation where, where you are feeling sadness, where you are also... Because you are in a situation where you are feeling sadness and then you think that you cannot get him back. You, you have some hope, but also you feel disesperate. But take your time, do the radio silence, the no contact, act on yourself and I can tell you, he will miss you. Something will change because in his mind, you will not be granted. That means he cannot think that you will be always here for him. And at this moment, we can rebuild the chemistry, the attraction process, and we can make him come, come back to you. Absolutely. And always consider that in the attraction process, value is very important. When we date someone is because we seek the value that they add to our lives. So what you need to focus on is elevating and increasing your sense of value. What can you contribute to a relationship? What skills, tools, exciting things are happening in your life that can enrich the life of someone else? And if you're out there living an exciting life, your ex is going to say, holy crap, maybe I want her around more. I miss her. Because when we were together, we did fun things. And now that we're apart, she's doing so many cool things I wish I was doing. And so it's a really good opportunity for you to elevate your value and consequently start bringing him back to you. And if your man is stubborn, even if he's the stubborn man in the world, I know that this is the sentence that I hear a lot, but Alex, my man is different, my man is stubborn. When he says something, he never comes back on, on his words. 
We heard that a lot. A million times. A million times, right? It's working for every man because that just work with human mind. It's just about human, not just men. It's working. Absolutely. So I think one of the cool things about coaches and one of the things that we get to observe is that despite the small differences in your character, in your behavior, in your interests, people tend to operate in very similar ways. People have the same dreams, they have the same fears, they want the same things. Men are attracted and turned on by the same types of characteristics and they are unattracted by the same sort of characteristics. So when you approach us and you say, but my man is so stubborn, he's never gonna come back. And I say, you're looking at him as though he's the most unique thing in the world. I want for you in this moment to pretend you are a camera and hit the zoom out button and remember that your man is just a man among so many men that tend to operate in very similar ways, the same way women tend to operate in very similar ways. Alex, would you agree? For sure, for sure. You can, I mean, nobody can explain this better than you. And if you have any question, please feel free to ask in the comments below because we will be here and we will show that your man is not different. Your man is unique, but he's not different. And it works, his mind works like every human world mind. And this is something really important that you need to keep in mind. So please, Ask your comments below. We will be here together to answer to your comments. Give us a like and subscribe to this amazing YouTube channel. You will receive one video every day from this amazing coach, from the team, and this is so cool. That is our promise to you, and we'd love to hear what's working. We'd love to hear what's not working. We're here to support you. Don't think that this is a one-sided arrangement. Um, I know that whenever I have a moment, whenever Alex has a moment, we're in these comment sections with you. We're responding to them. We're providing tips and tools unique to your situation to help you get the man back, to help you secure your relationship. And we're so thankful for your visit. So thanks a lot for tuning in, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye, guys.